Do you feel like Luca? Yeah. Yeah. We have made it to Rio Maggiore, Matthew. We've made it. We've made it. Welcome to our house. What an adventure getting up here. These are not advisable for Cinque Terre. No. Not a good idea. Maybe a backpack. Literally, the width of my body and this suitcase. That was it. That was that was the staircase that I had Couldn't to squeeze. Couldn't even film squeeze. it because we didn't have enough hands. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the third Too person. Much. But very into this view. Can you believe this? It's on the edge. It's on. We're like. It's definitely it's moody. Good. That is just straight down. We can hang our clothes. Unreal. It's up for tea. It's beautiful. Fish and chips. Let's get Prosecco and fish and chips. Look at her living her life. I'm living my dream. I'm living my Luca dream. Yeah, it's perfect. This is literally like my dream. Oh my God, there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, a little mix. Shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm just waiting on my cod to finish frying and I'm very excited. Me too. Do you, do you want to go down to the water and eat this? Sure. Yes. What were you saying? So if anybody was wondering, if you bring a bag or food onto the rocks here, expect rats to actually dig through your bag. You're kidding. In order to get to the food. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Did they get anything? I don't think so. Is there one in there? No. Oh God, I hope not. What if there is one in there? I would scream. <laughs> that was not there that long. No, it wasn't. I did see a rat like running around and I was like, oh, but I didn't see it come close to our thing. We're good. Did it chew your coat? No, but I think I'm gonna wear it now. Did it chew my coat? No, not that I know of, no. No, it looks good, it looks fine. Oh <laughs> my god. Uh... <laughs> looking fresh, looking dinner ready. Only one of us have showered. It's me. Guess who it is? It's Always me. He's never showered. He's actually never showered in his life. I am a rat. He's Crawl through your bag. You're the one who ate the bag. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. See you later. I'm coming with. Whistling every time I breathe out my nose. Okay, no. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I won't go away. I won't take you anywhere. Così. Così mi ha lasciato solo. Una mattina quasi normale. Dopo il caffè. Così mi ha lasciato il cane e il pesce rosso, la pila di panni sporchi e i piatti da risciacquare. Take a bite, take a sip of your dessert wine. Oh, that's really good. Is it a fruit wine? Yeah, what, what else would wine come from than a fruit? It has your biscotti and blueberries. Oh, wow, really? Wow. Reminds me of the amber okay, pork. Okay, everybody, take a bite. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno. How are you today? Good. I'm just putting up a stories update on Instagram. Wow. Like positives and negatives for the first few days in Italy. Man, what are they? Um, the positives. Architecture is beautiful. The food has been a lot of fun. I mean, it's Italian food, so like you can't go wrong. And then also our Airbnb. It's such a good location. It has a beautiful view. It has this little balcony. It's everything that I wanted in a spot here. Um, even though it doesn't have a lot of amenities, like you know, silverware, knives for the jam. I was trying to make. I literally <laughs> used the biggest <laughs> knife of my life. I should have filmed that actually. To put like a little jam on this like prepackaged <laughs> toast. It was using a butcher knife basically. To oh put my god! Jam on I could have. 
to have hurt a lot of things with that night. Negatives we got sun today. Yeah, so it's been mostly cloudy and humid since we got here, which I would say is a negative because it's not. But I feel like I want to wear a sweater, be cloudy, but then like I can't because it's too warm for a sweater, not warm enough for a t-shirt. Wow, that's so interesting. Thank you for that. We're gonna go hiking today. Oh. The jet lag. Yeah, we're trying. Let's go. Are we done without the hike? Yeah, I think the hike's over. <gasps> There's a lot of stairs. Fun. Basically, so when you get off the train in Cornelia, yeah. the train is by the ocean, but the town is on top of the mountain. So, oh. do the math. <laughs> you have to get from point A to point B. Oh my god, it's not even hot out. Like, it's like really Very nice. Very mild out. Sweating a little bit. If you're in the summer. Oh my gosh, I'd be a puddle. Good luck. <laughs> Toilets at the train station are closed. Go to the bathroom before. Kids, did you go to the bathroom before? <laughs> Don't be like me. are just starting the trail from Cornelia to Bernatza. We had to skip the part going from Rio Maggiore to Manarola, from Manarola to Cornelia because the path is currently closed. Because of landslides. Because of landslides. So if you come to this part of the world Double check. in the fall or the winter, it's likely that a lot of trails could be closed. Um, but even in the summer or like early fall, you can still have some closures. So just check with the information person about which trails are open, which trails are closed, so you don't end up at a roadblock. So this is kind of cool too. We had some wine last night and all the grapes are from this region and now we're walking through the vines. You have the vineyards the surrounding the trail everywhere. Look, there's huge bundles of grapes still on there. Really? Wow, oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh tail huh. end of harvest season. I was gonna say, yeah. Beautiful. So it's about an hour walk to Vernazza. Vernazza is, is like, it? yeah, it's an hour walk. We got time. Vernazza is the most popular town, I think, in Cinque Terre. It's, it's the, the most one that famous. Lucas is based off of. And it's the one Lucas based off of, yeah. It's so good. Love it. Oh my god, yeah. I wish we had food like this in the States where you could just go to a random restaurant and be like, yeah, I'll we'll have the fresh octopus from the ocean. It's right there. It's the sea. Sure. It's not an ocean. Learn your geography. Even the potatoes taste good. Matthew, we have potatoes in the US. In the US. But these taste better. I think I'm here more for like the half liter of wine that costs 13 euros instead of like a single glass that costs 13 dollars. 13, 15 dollars. Yeah, I mean okay. too. We made it to Vernazza! Luca City! We just had lunch and we're walking around Vernazza and I don't know if we're gonna get to much else today because we It's way bigger than it looks. Definitely have taken our time and yeah, Vernazza is a lot bigger than it looks on a postcard, so. It's a lot bigger than Rio Maggiore. It seems like it. I don't know if it actually is, hey, but entering hey, into it, I'm like, okay, this feels big and there's a lot of people. There are a lot of people here. Yeah. So I think we're gonna get some coffee, take a few photos, chill. made it to the most famous view in Cinque Terre. It's on what's like on all the postcards and you probably will recognize it, but it is the view of Renazza from the path on the way to Monte Rosso. Luca! <gasps> the town that's based off of Luca! Luca's based off of the town, sorry. The town that's based off of Luca. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> 
There is a restaurant called Luca. Disney Rest- Ristorante Luca. So Disney literally built this town in order to yes. make the movie. Yes, three years ago, and they modeled it after like a classic Italian town, and exactly. now it's like super famous exactly. because Disney made it that way. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Yet again, America makes the best part. Yeah. Thank you, Disney. Thank you. Uh, I'm done. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. Can you still hear me? Nope. Great. Sure can. <laughs> we are in Manarola, which the prettiest one of the prettiest. So far. It's at least one think of the top is. five prettiest. I'm most like in awe. I think. Yeah. I mean, this surprised us. I think it's the. It's like so vertical. The other ones are as well, but this one I feel like is so dramatically vertical. I think it's the most underrated. Really? Maybe. I would say it's the. And most then look at underrated. that restaurant that's just like chilling on that. There are tables all up there and people are just chilling and watching the sunset with this gorgeous view. It's like it has enough space and then it's I feel like it's super romantic. Yeah. And then you have this water area down here. People were just swimming and jumping off of the rocks. I was kind of jealous. Kind of wanted to do it. Ugh. Do you want to jump off the rocks? Go for it. I kind of wanted to, but we didn't bring any swimsuits. You don't need them. You're fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to like stop and get a drink, but my phone battery is at 2%. And we know that when his phone dies, he turns into a pumpkin. When my phone dies, I die. I would stop and get a drink. I don't know, it's up to you. We can either get a drink or we can I go feel, back. I feel really like sticky and salty from hiking. Yeah. So I don't think I'm, I'd rather like sit and enjoy a drink. Yeah, I think we're gonna go shower, get clean, get ready for dinner, and then we'll go have like a small dinner and a drink somewhere. We we'll call it a night. Join the street. Okay. <laughs> So tomorrow we check out of our Airbnb in Rio Maggiore and then we're gonna take the train up to San Margarita where we're staying and it's just a short ferry ride to, it's called Portofino, right? Yeah. Portofino, that's where we're going tomorrow. It should be good. Don't know how it can be any better than this, but should be good. One pair of pants later. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> It's windy. Today we are leaving Chiquitere and we're going up the coast to San Margarita. And just off the coast of San Margarita is a little tiny town called Portofino that I think you can only get to by hiking or by ferry. So at least that's the place or that's the ways that they recommend getting there for us. So we're gonna take the ferry, we're gonna go see Portofino. It should be really beautiful. Um, and then tomorrow we head back to Milan for the conference and to see our friends. Did you get water? Uh, no, I didn't. We need to order that. Oh my god. Did you want milk? Yes. Grazie. Bye Cinque Terre. Goodbye. I don't know if we filmed us taking these bags up the stairs. No, we'll have to like insert a, a phone clip or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe we'll insert a phone clip here. Go Michael, go. Dang, look at those arms. <laughs> Who needs a gym? <laughs> My god. What do you feel like? Tell us how you feel. I feel as though each part of this trip is just like a little bit more amazing race-ish. Like us carrying these bags up the stairs was like carrying 12 bottles of wine up the stairs in Lake Como. You've yeah. seen the episode. And now we gotta get our train. Let's catch the train. 